angel of light, what vampires really are. The Bible explains that even the devil can appear as an angel of light. Let me tell you about my experience. You see, Satan knows the Bible better than you do. But even though he has memorized the Holy Bible, there is no love in him. Heaven is a place prepared for those that love God. Satan loves only himself. And he tries to get you and me to do the same. Vampirism is about self. The motto is... The motto in vampirism is to love thyself more than anything else. Vampirism is a religion, a never-ending set of rules aimed at trying to make fallen man immortal without a savior. It is the same lie that Satan told Eve in the Garden of God, just repackaged for today. Satan fabricated a religion called vampirism by twisting the Bible verse that says the life is in the blood. Almighty God said, do not ever drink the blood of any fallen man or animal. Only the blood of Jesus can sustain you and give you eternal life. Vampirism is all about taking and stealing for selfish gain. The Lord Jesus freely gave his blood as a sacrifice to save us. Satan's way is to take life. God's way is he gives life. You choose. The bottom line is this. If we love God, we will obey him. Do what he says. There is life in obedience. And there is death in disobedience. In 1993, I was 19 years old and living in Pennsylvania with a man almost twice my age. The man was very abusive, but at least it was an escape from the constant fighting at home. The man did have a good job, a house, and a car, so I put up with the ever-worsening physical and mental abuse. But along came a spider. For me, it was the occult, particularly vampirism. It seemed to be the perfect escape. Vampirism comes in many forms, but for me it was the blood-sucking and Rice novels. I got to hide in these books, in a world where I was in control. I was, I was powerful in this world, and this fantasy soon became more enjoyable than life itself. Sadly, I already had a background in the occult, so this was an easy transition. My dad could move things with his mind, talk to the dead, and he was heavily involved and UFOs and aliens, but that's another story. One evening I went outside to take the trash out when I suddenly had an overwhelming feeling that someone was standing behind me. This person felt very familiar and seemed to be someone that I hadn't seen in many, many years. As I turned around, I smiled and approached this tall, slender person. But as I got closer to him, I noticed he wasn't just some ordinary person. He was a vampire, the very same one from the Anne Rice book. The closer I got, the more he would back away until eventually he walked behind a shed and disappeared. I knew instantly that he was not human. This only served to spark my ever-growing interest, so I dug deeper into the vampire world. After, walk after talking to others that claimed to be vampires, they told me that I was being awakened, and over time would soon understand what I was, a vampire. A few weeks later, I went to get another book called Mem Not the Devil at the local bookstore. As I stood on a small step stool and reached for this book, a strange man appeared in front of me. This man just grinned at me. I focused in on his eyes. They were grayish silver and an endless, lifeless pool. I walked past the man, but his gaze just followed me, never taking his eyes off of me. I asked my friend if he could see this strange man, and he said yes. My friend described the strange man in perfect detail, including how he was wearing these 18th century era clothes. This man, this man then proceeded to the checkout counter and purchased the book. We followed behind him as he exited the store. And then he disappeared before our eyes. He was not human. Even Satan himself can come as an angel of light. Vampirism appealed to the senses, but there is no life in it. Only your true father, our true father, in heaven, loves us enough to sacrifice everything for us and for you. The blood of Jesus paid the high price of our sin. Except salvation today. Choose Jesus. Choose true eternal life.
God bless you. I hope this blesses someone.